hello hi Kirby hello it's Sarah Kirby just came in the room um just an update you guys I wanted to share where my wire wrapping journey is leading me um, in the previous video I shared these moons and this kind of started oops this is backwards I'm gonna put pop this on this is my latest it's purples I'll come down so you can see um, I have not really narrowed in on the type of wire that I like or that will be oh, I want to make sure my camera's plugged in my go-to because I bought the craft store wire and now I'm finding that I really need dead soft it, my hands just can't take it and I'm such a beginner I've been really frustrated with any wire that's not considered soft now this is a big this is a thick wire um, learning a lot about that the gauge of the wire and a lot of techniques there are so many good tutorials I can't shout everyone out but anywho I'm gonna pop this on um, still struggling with my swirls this is like a little swirl here in the wire I'll come in a little more um, but these are just fun and this is I was doing these sun catchers remember so this is what considered making a frame for your design so you can create a frame and then beat it up and that's how I made the, the like this is just a bigger version this is at least like five inches so this is what started me then I ha started heading toward jewelry and I've always loved um, to make jewelry I mean I make these beaded bracelets with just um, elastic but what I've been doing is so let me pop this on is I had some amethyst in my stash um, this is what I had I got this at Michael's like this I went back and got more let me come back up um, these were clearance priced at five dollars and I really thought that was a good price because honestly a bee I'm, I'm sorry a strand of beads like if you get a strand of beads like this it's five dollars and anyway I think it's a great price because each one of these could be its own necklace so I got amethyst I got Indian agate which I love because look at this this one's just all purple you have greens and burgundies and yellows in there got a couple of them because they were the most um, varied in color and I just wanted to play I got Labradorite which I love and they didn't have any more of this shape but this is like a platform for you to swirl things around and make a design on so I at least needed to grab one of these um, and there is pops of blue in here sometimes you get that um, little window of of shine anywho um, I got some lapis I haven't played with this yet I have a piece right here from it's kind of I'm not sure but I, I wonder if this is like the Sun got to it or something and it like took the color out I'm not sure because I know some gemstones are dyed um, so anyway I did that I'm gonna show you what I made with the amethyst I used this design which it's like a woven bale and you guys I am very beginner I'm gonna come in and also I don't have the dead soft weaving wire so this wire it doesn't weave the same for me and it's very frustrating I'm gonna show you a simple weave that I did today and I'm I'm, I'm struggling but I'm getting through it um, so this is also not I mean I think it's copper coated um, but it's from the uh, craft store so what I'm hoping is that I'll discover a wire that's gonna work for me the best and stick with it but not to say that it can't be done with the craft store wire but you basically just use a piece of probably 20 gauge to create this bale but then you weave 28 gauge in between and it just creates a bail for your stone so that's one way to go so I did a couple of those 
like look at this one I had a lot more wire left on the um, bail so I made bigger curly cues on this one I made tiny curly cues but my bail is wider you know so that's what I love about art each one I, I, you can't duplicate these yes it's someone's tutorial they showed me the process to make it but once I put my hands on here it becomes mine um, that being said I will try to remember I'll, I'll definitely post in the description the tutorial for this just to show you um, give credit where credit's due now if you look at this this is so gorgeous. there was only one pack of this too this is black um, what is it called he, um, Labradorite black Labradorite so you can see those pops of blue in there too it's so gorgeous. but I'll re I'll redo this one because look how high shine now these are also I've been making chain I'll talk about that in a sec but see there's not high polish on this because it's just it may even be like a stainless steel it's a very dull shine to that silver so it's not my preference I'd really like it to look super shiny um, I'm not looking to sell these yet I will probably gift them first but um, this is so gorgeous and I mean that's not all you could do but I'm just practicing this technique of making a bale um, with those shape of wire so this is this, a similar the same bale on a different shape stone so this is more of that labradorite and let me see if there's oh, see there's fire in there see that blue popping it's a very cool stone when you turn it you get look there's some up here see it anywho um same design I just used one piece of wire create the bail now I'm getting better at this point you know my swirls are looking better um, I don't know what wire I used I think this might be dead soft by now I'm not sure so and then this is chain that I love I'll, I'll talk about the chain in a minute Ooh, dear. Um, let's see so those three were the woven bales this one was actually a tutorial I think her name is Oksana and her, her tutorial, I would say, are geared toward beginners. They're not too, too extreme. But this was supposed to be a teardrop. So the, it would have been side drilled, but a teardrop shape like this. So it, it definitely has a different look on this shape. So I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to keep this one. And plus, look at all that blue. On, this is a gorgeous piece of Labradorite. It has a lot of... Um, anyway it's not showing up but just another way now this be this is woven but it's just coiled around the wire two pieces of wire get coiled around it just simple wraps still frustrating as hell for me because again the the wrapping wire I'm using is is stiff and it's just uh, 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 it's very frustrating it can be frustrating so I've been frustrated quite a bit um, again I wove these this piece of the thicker wire together to kind of hold it so I mean I'll probably hold on to this piece because it's definitely a learning curve and um I didn't do an, a second one of these <clears throat> um did I yes no I did not okay that is for those woven type bales then there's this tutorial which I loved and I did it on a couple but the other one was so janky this is just a heart shaped bead it has a hole in the bottom so see the wire goes through it so this is a great tutorial for using one so you made the heart and then you twisted the wire together and then you put and you cut it and then you put the other side up through make the bail and then I wove this together at a bead. So this one's not horrible. And it does look like there's a little S at the top. So I was wearing this one quite a bit. I've been wearing this. I love, this is um, Rose Quartz. This is the one I did today. And I'm going to pop this one on after. But this is a different tutorial. Now this one did not utilize the hole. It's the same bead. And her, she used a different shape heart. Like these are not 
this is the heart there only came three in the pack I think I got these at Michael's so they're not real strong heart shapes they're kind of bloopy you know but we did a different way we made a little base and look how janky this wrapping is because it's just so hard I think I used a bigger gauge too you wrap two wires together and then you separate them once you get far enough and then you create this V to hold the stone in place this is the back and you make the bale so they did some weaving around the bale I mean my work is definitely improving but I still feel like if I had that wire that really cooperated it would be a lot less of a struggle so I like this one and then I think I did another one yes this one now this these are just little um, shell hearts so look how much smaller this is and then I got these these are made from um, lava rock kind of it's just puffier so depending on the stone you have you can make it work um, this I did okay here it is so this is the same design this is just done in the um, I think it's just called white shell like it's got a um, al abalone abalone I think it is um, I don't know why I grabbed that one um, it was 50% off at my uh, um, Hobby Lobby because I wanted to get bottom drilled so I could do like this tutorial which you know I'm going to do more of these hearts like that with the good when I get the good wire like I think this is super cute I could put like I just got these little hearts I could probably put a heart right there I'm excited I want to play I keep playing and just trying different things but the tutorial is basically the same thing so this one's using a center drilled heart this one's like if you had a cabochon heart or you could just use whatever because it ha this one has a hole but I just didn't use it same thing with this it has a hole I just didn't use it so very similar I think I started getting the hang of this one um, this one I really shaped the bottom to fit the stone this one there's like a gap um, and then these are the other two hearts I did these are a different tutorial and again it utilizes that hole through the middle of the bead and I put this I put some essential oils on it hope this one's called because you can put essential oils on these lava rocks and absorbs the the smell so that smells so good so you know I mean if you wanted to give someone a gift with a little scent on it still really janky because I pull so hard um, this one I did with just one and see how the bail it's just a simple twist you don't have to go crazy this was the um, second one I made I think I didn't use if you if I really zoom in you can tell that this is a different color this weaving wire is gold instead of copper and I just changed it up I instead of putting the cutting it off I made two little swirls Anywho, um, all right, then there's Matt's Crazy Art, I think it's called. I think this one's a different tutorial, too. It's kind of a version of this. Again, this one's by Oksana, but see how much simpler it is? Anyway, this is a much simpler design. It does not have a woven bale, but you get the job done. Much quicker, simpler, easy. Oh, that's a back. This is the front. So I could see if you had a bigger, more substantial, or valuable piece of stone, a bigger, more substantial, but more valuable bale or you know wire wrap would be. But for these little pieces that are just cheap, easy little gifty things, you don't have to go crazy. You can just use a simple wrap, and that's where Matt's. What is it called? I'm gonna I'm gonna look. I'll put him in the description too. I think it's called like. Matt's crazy art Matt's crazy art yeah this guy I struggle with his style because it's just do it don't think just wrap so he has a technique that he calls scarfing it right 
and I just did this one this morning this piece of rose quartz it is a whole lot of wrapping <laughs> but nothing wrong with it I just left it because I think I don't know I was just trying to loopy loopy loop I didn't even follow his tutorial I just started wrapping it and this is a definite this is like I think an 18 gauge so it's a diff thicker wire I don't know but this is a big piece of stone so I thought bigger wire would be appropriate you know um yeah again this is a top drilled bead so he has certain techniques that he uses for a top drilled bead this is his style again with a, a bead that's drilled up the middle so you just get it on there he has he calls them the dosi -si dough -si -do loops this one came out good except for when I scarfed it it went up because you have to like take your wire when you're done you cut it and you tuck it into the scarf anyway this I mean it's this is just a random bead that I had in my stash, but I'll keep it <clears throat> as a reference. Uh, so that's what I've been up to. Let me think if I did anything else. No, I have been, this has been plenty. I mean, I have been really, so I have way more, I have lots of amethyst in here it I love I want to I'm waiting for my silver to come um, because I want to wrap these look how gorge this I've never even seen it black labradorite um, it's got that side drilled hole um, I have more amethyst pieces plenty more amethyst look at that anyway um, the chain let's talk about that for a sec so for these big pieces I love the leather I think Oh, I didn't share it now. I went and got some leather. This big piece, this is 30 inches, and it's like a dark brown, which I love because it hangs really low. Um, this was on clearance, $2, and it was made already. But all you have to do is buy a... Uh, I wasn't planning on talking to you guys about it. I'll be right back. Okay, so... I basically had chain guys I've had chain in my stash because I've done other types of projects with chain I do steampunk designs and chain is involved in that this is this is my favorite and they did not have it at Michaels anymore it's like a textured curb link or something I love and I'm almost done it <sighs> I got the spool this is just a like a smaller let's see metal chain it doesn't even say a hundred inches of metal chain I think I made one brace necklace of that um, so anyway you can purchase this on a spool this is my silver which I don't love for a necklace but I used it like I said for steampunk or steampunk or a more crafty project um, the leather I bought like this and I think there were two packs of this this has brown light like khaki and black I think there was another one with other colors three different colors um, this is called cording round cording it's leather um, this is what I've made these with now I think these these little moons play really nice with a leather cord so I think that looks really nice this is the copper color so I put the like little it's just brown this is again this is the copper color same color with that lighter brown and all you need to make these are these little findings and again let's see if I can find my find yep right here so these you just look in the findings section um, I don't have the packaging but they're little crimps basically and you just create the ends of your cut the cut the length you want out of the leather and then you use these little guys come in I like these there are a couple options but these are what I'm familiar with because I made book thongs I made bookmarks they have a loop on the end and then they have this little kind of u-shaped metal that you lay the leather in and then you crimp down around it so I'll show you right on here that's all I did is I laid the leather inside that little crimpy part and squish it down with my pliers 
that leaves you with two loops at each end of the cord and then you need to get yourself a clasp of some kind which I like lobster claws they're my favorite so I tend to I can't find them they're on the desk somewhere I like lobster claws and they come in all different colors you'll see that I've I, I have three colors right now and then I did make jump rings to use as the connection and that's it you have a necklace so I love the wire I'm sorry the leather option especially for bigger pieces like this now I mean that being said I did use that gorgeous this was my first one the one I was so proud of um, I used that gorgeous met the chain for this because it was the same color but again you just cut the wire, uh, cut the length you need and then you just use jump rings and attach a bail basically and you have a necklace so I just love the, the, the diversity of those bigger pieces and then for these littler ones well this was all the silver I had um, again this would look great with a piece of black cording I think when I get my silver wire I'm gonna make some of these with some black cord because um, why not it's a black stone right so I don't love this not my favorite chain um, but again you just add you cut the length you need a couple jump rings and a lobster claw and you have a necklace um, this is kind of a rook because copper is more of a rosy color I did get this like rosy color chain and then I have a rosy colored clasp and I used copper for my jump rings and voila I'm gonna pop this on in a minute and I'm gonna wear this today um, I thought this was delicate so I wanted to have a delicate kind of this you know I think the copper played good with this kind of rose color because they didn't have any copper chain there was no copper chain they had um, this color I think I had this in my stash um, and I have some wire that's kind of this color this is called vintage bronze and it's power wire and I don't love power wire so I keep uh, I'm not using it I'm gonna play with it though I'm gonna play with this and see what I come up with because I think that chain matches that really well so basically you know this is a nice chunky charm so I put the chunky chain on that but for anything that's a little more like I think this was this this is what I put just this little curb link on I have two versions of gold and so it's basically I just like to do it based on the so this one could definitely be a piece of leather or a chunky chain you know because it's a chunky piece so just you know these these are little so you wouldn't want to use a huge I don't even think you know like this piece of I, I don't I wouldn't like that I would want definitely a petite this this would look good on that petite chain so I'm using what I have for the most part but man I have been buying wire because it is not it's not that easy you know like I look I made this was wrapped around something and I didn't like it like I didn't like I hammered it I'm still hammering and playing around with that I'm still playing around with heart shapes and hammering I love to hammer so I just want to see and then could I wrap this around a stone I have to figure it out <laughs> you know so anywho that's it you guys I wanted to share what I've been up to um, also I did get something on clearance yesterday that I'll be sharing in the future it's a big wood plaque that says welcome friends and um, I think I'll share the painting process with you it's really big though so we'll see all right you guys have a grateful day. Thanks for watching.